Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and thank you so much for clicking on my video. I know there's so many lunchbox recipes ideas on YouTube, so thank you. <laughs> for once, I'm doing my video in time, in the right time because school is almost starting but it's not there yet so I'm not too late. I want to apologize for the change of luminosity in this intro because there's a lot of clouds and the sun keeps changing so I mean the sun doesn't change but the clouds change in front of the sun and so the light changes. I quickly want to thank Monbento for sponsoring this video. Monbento is a French brand that does lunch boxes and accessories to carry your lunch to work or school or wherever you need to go. I've had my first bento like three years ago and then the brand sent me a few new ones of their models and I really enjoy them because they're way bigger and I mean I eat a lot so <laughs> it's really nice to have like a larger portion, the big one, the square one comes with also a little box inside and an extra strap if you don't need to carry both of the boxes. I also got some dressing pots as well as some cutlery. And then the one I'm really so thrilled about, it's an isotherm one. So anything you put in, whether that's hot or cold, it remains it hot or cold for six hours. I feel like this is life changing because if you don't have a fridge or a microwave wherever you work or study, this is so great. Like I wish I had this when I was working in an office or when I studied. <laughs> the brand is offering you 10% with the code AmelieTahidi10, but it doesn't last long. So if you really want something, just have a look at the website and shop before it's gone. I also want to thank you for participating with me in this video because you guys helped me on Instagram to choose whether you wanted meals with similar ingredients or a few ingredients, sorry, similar ingredients, which is few ingredients or a lot of different ingredients. And most of you wanted similar ingredients, which totally makes sense if you're buying groceries um, every week, you're not gonna buy like multiple different things. And then the second question I had for you is whether you wanted rice or quinoa based recipes. Well, it was like <laughs> machi machi. So I decided today to go for the rice version as well as a chickpea version. So it's like a rice for the grain and a chickpea for the beans. Hit that little like button if you want a quinoa version. This intro is already way too long. So let's jump into the recipes. The first recipe I will be showing you is those rice paper wraps with the rice inside. You can call them rice sushi burritos, whatever name you come up with. You just want to take your favorite veggies. I had some carrots and some cucumber in hand. Just make them very thin slices. Really don't be cheap on cutting them very small, otherwise it might break your paper. The technique that I find the most efficient is to dump with water some clean dish towel and then put the rice paper on top and you can kind of press it so it becomes wet but not too wet. And I like to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and some white rice. This is, yeah, plain, simple white rice. About two big tablespoons. I just layer it down in a rectangle shape. I add some spinach, my veggies, some basil, some smoked tofu and peaches because it's still the season here. Then you want to fold over and then at the side, don't hesitate to take another paper depending on the quality of your rice paper, otherwise it might break. So I like to transport them as they are without cutting them, but if you like to make them pretty, you can cut them in half. The sauce is probably the most important part of this dish, so do not skip it. This dressing comes from my ebook, The Mindful Life. I mix some peanut butter, some coconut yogurt, curry paste, tamari. You'll find all the detailed ingredients in the description below. I just happen to always have like a, a very, very small bowl for everything I make, and then I realize it's too late, and then I just don't want to change it, don't want to do more dishes. <laughs> um, so I'm using those little dressing pots that I have from Monbenzo. They actually hold quite a lot. Um, and yeah, just like screw it on top and put it in my box and I'm ready to go. Just a tip if you're having Monbento boxes, you always want to close the lid with the thing open and then close it down. This ensures it won't leak and it just protects the freshness of your lunch. For this next recipe, I've chosen to do a rice salad that I've done a lot lately. I just love this combination with green beans. 
I used brown rice for this recipe, you can as well use white rice, red rice, black rice, etc. So I had some leftover cooked green beans in my fridge that I like to chop in smaller bits. To keep the freshness of the beans, you always want to make sure to rinse them with really cold water after you cook them and then just put them in a bath of ice cold water. In a bowl, I mix them with the rice, some chickpeas, some basil, I mean all the ingredients you can see. A shower of hemp seeds, <laughs> some olive oil, some whole grain mustard, a little bit of soy yogurt for creaminess, so some salt, I'm not a no salt girl, some pepper and apple cider vinegar, give that a good mix and then you're ready to put it in your bento box and ready to go. For the third recipe, I'll be showing you how to make those stuffed tomatoes. The first thing you want to do is make sure the tomatoes are not too big, that they fit in the container quite easily. Then you want to remove the top as well as what's inside. Make sure you remove all the water so that it's empty. What you can do with the remaining parts of the tomato is use it for later. I'll show you a recipe with it or using later like in the week for your pasta sauce or anything like that then in a bowl i'm adding some chickpeas that i mash with a fork this takes a few minutes but it's really worth the time because the results are going to be really nice to that i add some rice some mustard paprika this is actually the same recipe as my vegan tuna wrap recipe if you follow me on instagram here's another shower of nutritional yeast <laughs> i'm adding some olives and mix that all together you may have to add a few teaspoons of that tomato water and then this is for the people that like to be extra like me a tablespoon of pesto vegan pesto that is super delicious it pairs super well with the mix you want it kind of creamy kind of sticky kind of all that together you know perfect put that all in tomatoes and then you close them again with their lid You can pair that with a green salad, the same one I showed at the very start of the video. If you have leftover rice, you can just add it to the salad. This next recipe, I wanted to show you a hot meal. So if you have the isotherm bento, that's even better. But if not, you can still do it and just reheat your meal in the microwave or eat it room temperature. So this is a curried red rice recipe. I'm using tempeh that I like to cut in little cubes and then I'm using vegetables that I had in my fridge which were basically just a zucchini. <laughs> cut the zucchini in little cubes again. That's how I like my vegetables usually. The smaller the tastier it tastes. That doesn't make sense but you get what I mean. I also used two shallots. You can use onion. I believe red onion would be delicious with this. It's just that I'm intolerant to it, so I just use shallots. And then in a pan, I'm adding the shallot with some spices. Again, the full recipe will be in the description below. And then I add the zucchini and the tempeh. You may have noticed I didn't add water until then. That's for a reason. You want everything to stick to the pan and start to caramelize and start to release some sugar, natural sugar, that you will deglaze with water. Adding some red rice to it and give that another stir. I used a tomato that I had remaining from the last recipe, so you can use the same if you do both recipes or you could just do without or using some normal fresh tomatoes. And then I just add everything to my bento, top it with some almond flakes and there you go, very nutritious meal.
The last recipe is a Buddha bowl that I'm doing with rice balls. I'll show you the recipe in a minute. Um, I absolutely love having that kind of lunch with a lot of different ingredients and I just love that this bento box allows me to pack so much goodness in it. So yeah, this is, you can basically see what it is. <laughs> veggies, roasted veggies. This is part of the meal prep that I do pretty much every week. It's delicious, it's filling, nutritious. I add some rice bowls that I make with rice as well as chickpea flour. This is a little dense, so I suggest not eating like the full recipe. Yeah, it's just another way of eating rice. I add some spices to it, a little bit of oil with clean hands. You just wanna, you know, do that with your hand. I forgot the word. You just want the texture to be like this, kind of sticky, so that you can roll some balls and put that in the oven. I add a teaspoon of hummus that I make homemade. It's also part of my meal prep of the week. I always have some hummus in my fridge. Super easy to make and tastes delicious. High in protein, super healthy, and yeah, it just goes with everything. Then I add some nuts because I'm a nut girl. I love some nuts. Nuts are amazing. And some tahini dressing with lemon that I put extra in my little box here. And there you go. Healthy, easy lunch for your work. Let's go. All right. I hope you enjoy those recipes and ideas. You may have noticed that I didn't include any dessert in this video. The main reason is, well, this is my video and my habits and my habits do not include dessert for lunch. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm just not a dessert person. At least not for lunch. When I have dessert, it's usually for dinner. In saying that, if you really are interested in like quick dessert to make and to take away, let me know in the comments and if there's enough interest, I might do a video for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it. It's very easy. You just have to click that. Just right there it's like one second not even <laughs> um, but yeah it helps a lot and I would also adore you if you consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here I mean I already love you so much for watching my video but I would just love you even more we have fun on my channel we do vegan recipes we do fitness content we do some vlogs and I'm a yoga teacher so I'm very wise <laughs> I'm joking. Just ending this video, wishing you a really good end of summer. If you're still on holiday, just enjoy. If you're already back to school, back to work, just enjoy. <laughs> because yeah, the most important in life is to be happy with what you're doing. Have fun, don't stress too much. Love you very much and I hope to see you soon.